Hi, and welcome, parent of a child in Selma Unified School District's credit recovery classes, or if your child is specifically at Selma High School taking credit recovery. My name is Mr. Barbic, and I'm one of the credit recovery teachers at Selma High School, and I am in charge of English for the course during the day. I am here to give you a quick tutorial about the report that is going to be sent home every three weeks explain to you how your child is doing in the course that they are enrolled in. So I'm gonna go over the nuts and bolts of the important information, what to look at on the form and how to read certain parts of it since it may be unclear when you just see it for the first time. So I'm gonna go ahead and share screen and I'm gonna show you the form and we'll go over it together. So the form that's going to come home is going to look just like this. And the form is essentially one page. And if we focus, we can see that this is a sample student. This student does not exist in Selma Unified. But this gives you an idea of what the form is going to look like and how the data um, could be read or presented to you. So let's go ahead and start with, as a parent, where do I need to start? So the first place to pay attention to when you get this form is gonna be the box that tells you about the teacher and the course and the date that the course is expected to be completed. So you'll notice that what we have is the semester, the teacher in charge of the course your child is enrolled in, the period, you'll have the start date when your child was enrolled, and you'll have the target completion date when your child is expected to finish the class. So this is the basics that just tell you who is in charge of it and when is the course supposed to be finished. If you are looking for what course is the child refer, you know, enrolled in? It's right here. It's a very long name for the course and all courses will have the same format. What that means is all courses will start with Selma High School, the SHS. They're gonna list the course name. In other words, this is Common Core English Language Arts. So this is the English course. They're gonna tell you the year in some cases. So this is ninth grade. And then they're going to let you know the semester. Most courses will have an A or a B. So the letter, this refers to the semester. So A is fall semester, semester one. B would be spring semester, semester two. And then the last part of this lets you know it's the credit recovery course. Once you've gotten past the top part, these middle two boxes are the most important meat of the report, of the progress report. So let's start with the left box because this box over here tells you everything you need to know about how your child's doing and if they are on track behind or ahead. So this box tells you that for every course, if your child is trying to complete one course by December or by the end of the semester, they need to be completing about 5% of the course per week. Most course, most semesters have about 20 weeks. And so 5% per week would equal 100% of the course done at the end of 20 weeks. After that, down here, it's going to tell you how much your child should have completed by today, by the day you've received the document. So in this case, after week nine, this child should have completed 44% of the course. 
by week nine date. Now, when you look down here at the course completion, this tells you how much work, how much of the course the child has completed. You will notice that this child has only completed about 40% of the work. They should have completed 44% of the work. So this child I know is behind. So at this point, when you look to the right, you should definitely talk to your child about, hey, based on what I'm seeing here, it appears you are behind. In your child's case, your child may be on track with where they have 44% done, or your child may be ahead where they have done more than 44%. But once you see these two numbers, you'll know which one applies to your child. That is based only dealing with how much of the course has your child completed. Now the question is, what grade does my child have? That is right here. The overall grade tells you the grade in percent form that your child has. So a 62% would be a D minus. So it's important to pay attention to this number. And if you're not familiar what, with what grade this means, ask your child. Because usually a 90% or above is an A, a 80% or above is a B, a 70% or above is a C, a 60% or above is a D, and anything below a 60% would be a failing grade. So that is gonna be the course completion percentage for your child and the grade for your child. Those are the most important parts of this document. Now, there are two more sections that I just want to quickly review for you because they will definitely be helpful for you in understanding more deeply what to do next. So down here, it lets you know that there, you should be re receiving emails from Edgenuity on a weekly basis. If you are not, please contact the instructor or the teacher so that you can get those weekly emails, okay? That's one. The second thing that's very, very important and applies to uh, many students in credit recovery, ask your child if your child is attempting to complete two courses. Because if you're a, a child is attempting to complete two courses at the same time during the semester, these numbers, the course completion and where they should be will be different. So at this point, ask your child, are you trying to complete two classes or just one? If your child is trying to complete two classes, please ask them, what percent they should be at, and then see where your child is at currently. If your child is only completing one class this semester, then these numbers are what you need to know, how much they need to get done, where they should be right now, and how much they have done to date. That is basically everything you need to know about the progress report being mailed home. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to the learning director of your child or to your child's teacher. Either one can help you and give you more information about the progress report that you just received. Have a great day, be safe, and be healthy.